Good morning. Welcome back. Happy Sunday. If it's Sunday when you're watching this. Today is a very busy Saturday. I am trying to not get electrocuted. Um, it's just after six o'clock. Cows are away in to the parlor, as you've seen. Uh, we are milk recording this morning. Izzy is with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're milk recording. And then we are scanning the dorsets. So that'll be interesting. That'll be good to know whether or not they are in lamb. Um, but yeah, as I said, busy morning, lots going on. I will keep you updated as the day progresses. Also, I think that there's a cow going to calve today. We had our first cow, cow calve. It was a lovely heifer calve through the week. And um, there is another cow that has a little bit of a striffle this morning. So I'd say she'll probably calve. Just have to also tell you, look how lovely this grass is for grazing. This field was um, baled the last time. So it's lovely clean on the bottom. And the cows are grazing it out very well. Oh, this is so hot. Chuck. Okay, got this guard up. <laughs> I will I will not see you back in the parlor because you have seen um, milk recording before. So I will see you at scanning the sheep. So we got the yolks all scanned this morning. I have no idea what was actually filmed. I um, handed the camera to Stuart and I, th <laughs> I think he filmed the grass. So that's good. <laughs> but uh, no, really, really delighted with how well them sheep have um, scanned. I was just talking to Gareth and he was saying about how a lot of the early dorsets haven't scanned that well. So we have now, granted, it's only a very small batch. But we have 10 yews, two yews, um, have been tipping with their lambs on because they were like late lammers, March lammers. Um, so one of them isn't in lamb, but she has a very big bag. Um, so I'm not sure, I don't really think she's worth trying with, to be perfectly honest. Um, so she's not in lamb. Then we have two singles and seven doubles. So that is a good job. Usually the yews would pass through Gareth's big um, scanning trailer, but then just because there was only a few of them, we just did them in a pen. And that also means that I think, I think Mr. Tip is now for sale. <laughs> so, um, if you live in Northern Ireland and genuinely do want a pedigree uh, horned Dorset ram, 
give me a shout let me know <laughs> because I could accommodate you but now I am gonna go and bed up the calving pens I can't remember if I told you this morning or not um, I don't my brain doesn't usually get going that early in the morning but um, we have three cows due in the next two days probably due today to be honest um, one of them doesn't look like she's gonna calve today and then two of them one of them's definitely in the middle of calving now and then the other one's probably calved by this evening so i'm gonna go and bed the calving pens get them round and settled into there and then hopefully by the time this video you see it we should have a couple of calves on the ground so that'll be fun uh we had a calve through the week like the week before you see this um unexpectedly about 10 days early but in fairness a very lovely wee calf pedigree um lower crest command genus bill um and she's really really nice she's a lovely wee calf so we are officially calving um i think i have black eyes already never mind adding in calving but we will roll, we will roll. Right, gonna go bed some cabin pens, come with me. Just before I bed these pens, actually I thought I would show you the house all cleaned out. I cannot take any credit for this. <laughs> I did not lift the bar hose once in here. Um, in fairness, after the first cab was born, which I will show you. Oh, she is so cute. Hi, Sip. Hey, you. She was born, we put her in this pen and then it meant that um, panic was on to get the rest of the house cleaned out, disinfected and reset again, which means we have these all ready to go again. Um, we'll probably move her down into one of these baby pens just for handiness sake. But for now, I am going to bed some calving pens and hopefully by this evening we will have some more babies. just feeding the calves. This one is a very big bull. Um, she would have been fine just having one of these. Uh, this calf also must have been the last one out. The other calf must have been the first one out. The other calf has been up and sucked the cow. That's why whenever I was stripping out the sealers from her teats, um, some of the teats didn't have sealers in them because that calf had taken them out already. But it also means that because this calf hasn't sucked the cow, he is much happier to suck the plastic tit because he doesn't know what like a cow's tit feels like <laughs> so he's chugging away
and we are done thank goodness i thought i would um like put some makeup on or something <laughs> before i explained everything that went on this morning but then i realized you know what this is me this is uh this is real life farming this is shit and all but sure what about it um so yeah we are finished milking calves for the colostrum i saved a little bit um of colostrum for the smaller twin that wouldn't really suck the tit this morning and I'm going to warm that up this afternoon, get it into her. Um, she's had, she's sucked the cow. I'm probably sure she's had enough, but just to be absolutely sure, I'll put a wee bit into her later on. Um, we also calcium bolus the cow, which you'll have seen. Um, and that was pretty much like a wee, I suppose, a tablet of calcium that goes down. Um, you put it into the cow. Pretty much, so that cow has been dry for like the last two months. Um, she's been ticking along, obviously didn't really eat much calcium, wasn't really using a lot of calcium. So then um, the calcium that she has had in her body, she's been like storing away into her bones. Because obviously everybody has calcium in their bones, that's why we drink milk, because it's a good source of calcium. Um, but when she calves, she has a huge demand for calcium all of a sudden after not really needing calcium for two months which sometimes can mean that cows, um, cows develop milk fever, which is like a deficiency in calcium. It's hypo, hypocalcemia or hypercalcemia? Milk fever, we'll call it milk fever anyway. Um, basically a deficiency in calcium. And cows that would be at risk are older cows, um, cows that have had like multiple births, cows that have had milk fever before. That cow is like a sick fish calver probably. Um, and obviously twins puts her at risk. So we put um, a bowl of calcium in her. And it means then with that huge demand of calcium has hit her this morning, that there is calcium there. Um, obviously calcium, calcium can be quite hard for the cow to try and mobilize and get back out of the bones again um, which is why they become deficient when they need that huge big demand whenever they start producing milk after they calve so she got a calcium bolus this morning that is pretty much it i think i will leave this video here just had to also say um thank you very much for telling me what your favorite biscuits were um there are some scary people in our midst that would pick a custard cream over a bourbon but i mean each to their own <laughs> um but no that's this video finished thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next one